Hey guys, I'm so glad that you are participating in our blog hop for Digital Learning Day. Today, I wanted to teach you how to create a turbot. And what that is, is a way to record yourself online. And there is also an app, so you can use it as an app as well. So I can record audio and then create a QR code from the audio. So I'm going to show you how that works. The first thing to know is Chirbit is C-H-I-R-B-I-T dot com. And you can create your own account. You don't have to create an account to use Chirbit, but I like to do that because I have a lot. So I create an account. Um, there's also an app, as I said earlier, that you can create on your phone or iPad which would be great for students to create their own turbots as well. So the way it works is you can create um, right from the site. You can record. You can also upload recordings that you've already done. And it looks like you've done, you can do video, which I've not ever done. Um, so I'm, I'm only going to speak with the audio part of it. Um, so basically, if you upload, you just click on upload and it would take you to your computer and you'd find the file. But today, what I'm going to show you how to do is record. So I'm going to click on record and I'm going to allow for the microphone. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this uh, Digital Learning Day. I can tag this if I want. And I can um, change this to different types. I only need it to be a chirpet. And then I'm going to hit record. So I'll come up here and just record whatever I want. I can just tell you all about chirpet. Or if I'm using this in the classroom, I could possibly do some uh, maybe centers where students can scan to get the answer to something. Um, I could do some passages where I could read the passage to the students. Um, I mean, the op options are limitless um, as far as recordings go. So once the recording is made, then I just stop and I can listen to my Chirbit. Record whatever I want. I can just tell you all about Chirbit or if I'm... Okay, so once I'm finished, once the audio is what I want, then I'm going to submit that and my turbot is being created. Now it has been created. I can just X out here and then I'll just go and refresh my turbot and you'll see that now it's there for Digital Learning Day. So now what I have to do is go into that audio file and click on the share button and I can share it to um, my QR code generator. So I'm just going to copy this URL, go to my QR code generator, which I use QR code monkey. I know a lot of people use different ones, but I'm going to create a URL QR code by pasting that Turbit URL to my QR code generator. I can create a different color. I can make a logo um, inside of my QR code. I can do whatever I want as far as making it pretty. I'm not going to worry about that today. Um, I'm just going to create my QR code. So now what I'm going to do is show you what it looks like on the end of the I iPad or iPhone um, or iPod. If you'll go to a QR code reader and it scans, it's going to come up and it's going to look like this. So it's going to have the audio right there. Now, if I press play, it would read it back to the, the audio would be played back. Unfortunately, um, when I'm, I'm hooked up so that I can record this, so I don't think you're going to be able to hear it. But I'm going to go ahead and press play. Um, you may or may not be able to hear it in the recording, but record whatever I want. I can just tell you all about Turbit or if I'm using this in the classroom, I could possibly do some uh, maybe centers where students can scan to get that recording and um, also show you real quickly um, right here is the Turbit app. 
so you can see that you can actually um, I've are I'm already signed in but it's already there my digital learning day um, I can create more um, by hitting record and I can record my own uh, on the iPad or iPhone which is really nice so kids could create their own charbits which is really cool so there you have it um, how to create an audio QR code um, either for your students or have students create their own um, there is some other options as well that I'll put in my blog post, but this is one that I like the best. So try Cherbit and let me know what you think in the comments.